Right, this is going to be a slightly shorter video. Earlier today, I did a, a, a driver comparison analysis between the latest driver and the previous driver. Uh, people in the comments asked me to compare it against 528.02, which has been the best online multiplayer driver because it's got good latency and it's got good performance. Uh, and then also people in the comments asked me to compare it against 535.98 because this has been for single player offline games it offers the best performance uh, and then before i get to my results guys uh adrian muslim one of my viewers came up with a very good suggestion he asked me to change the layout of my findings or my my results where instead of one below the other i put them side by side so let me know in the comments if you like the way i'm going to do it now so let's get to those results so I compared 528 versus 536.40, but I'm going to drag it over here. And then I did the same thing where I compared 535.98 versus 536.40. So let me know if you guys like this layout because yeah, you can compare each individual game's performance against the against the next driver. So let me just get the, the nitty gritty out of the way. All my games are tested at medium settings, where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 was available, I used a quality setting. The only games that weren't medium was The Last of Us because progressively performance is getting worse than that. So I, I tested on low with FSR set to quality. And then my computer is unexpected for Returnal, so I test Returnal, Returnal on low with FSR set to balanced. And then I play Resident Evil 4 Remake. I'm kind of addicted to it quite often. So I just leave it on the in-game settings that I use, which is a mixture of medium, high, and low. Everything else is medium with, uh, with FSR set to quality. All these games are single-player games, as you can tell. I don't have multiplayer games, so I can't test that. However, I just learned that you can actually monitor latency in-game via GeForce Experience. So I'm just going to figure out how to use that so in the future I'll be able to give you guys an accurate description of latency in game uh, for the drivers. So I'll be able to tell you look it's got good performance and also it's got good or bad latency. So look out for that in the next comparison that I do. Just need to figure out how I'm going to do it. And then lastly I test on a GTX 1650 laptop. I've never had an RTX card or RTX laptop so your results may vary guys not going to take long here so for 528.02 over the 12 games my total fps or average fps was 849 fps divided by 12 and my average fps per game is 70.75 and then um, my one percent lows on 528.02 are 658 and when i divided by 12 my average 1% lows are 54.83. So when I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS, my driver stability, and this is, be, this is why this has been one of the best drivers this year, is 77.50%, which is fantastic because this, because this driver has fantastic latency. So that's 528.02. And then for my preferred driver up until recently, 535.98, same thing, added up all the average FPSs, and then over 12 games, my average FPS total was 856, divided by 12, and my average FPS per game is 71.33 FPS. For the 1% lows, did the same thing, and then my total 1% lows over 12 games was 663, divided by 12, and then my average 1% low per game is 55.25%. Uh, uh, FPS and when I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS the stability on this driver was 77.46% which is the reason why I've loved this driver for online uh, for, for offline single player games um, and for the most recent driver same thing over the 12 games my total FPS was 858 divided by 12 gives me an average FPS per game of 71.5 and then I did the same thing for the 1% lows added up all the 1% lows and my 
my total 1% loss over 12 games was 667 divided by 12 and my average 1% loss per game for the latest driver 536.40 was 55.58 so not a whole lot in it but you can see that the 1% lows are actually the highest on the latest driver so when I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS it gives me a stability percentage for the latest driver of 77.73% so guys these have been the three best drivers this year out tonight so the DPS and latency issues have been since I think 520 uh, yeah 528.79 I think or no 531.79 and or, or 535.98 i can't quite remember but and this the dps latency hasn't been resolved with this latest driver so for single player games i either recommend 35 uh, 535.98 or 536.40 for single player for online i probably still recommend 528.02 but you can see guys there's very little difference in performance between these three drivers and the latest driver actually has pretty damn good performance in single player or flying games as mentioned tell me if you like this layout because now you can compare the performance between uncharted on 528.02 and on 535.98 and on the latest 536.40 it's all nice and straight line there for you guys so you can just pause and you can see oh i like playing god of war oh, it's best on 535.98 okay let me use that driver let me know if you like this layout and then furthermore um yeah like i mentioned i just found out that you can actually monitor latency via geforce experience i don't like geforce experience but i use geforce experience because it's the best in-game recorder because you lose the least, least fes but I see that you can use performance counters and it actually monitors your latency for you. So what I will do, I just need to figure out how to work out the average latency per game and then also factor it into on the driver itself. So the average latency per game added up. So the average latency per driver, I just need to figure out how to tabulate that. And then going ahead, I'll be able to give you guys a latency reading for each driver that comes out going in but that's something i need to figure out in the meantime thank you so much for watching it is friday i hope you guys have a freaking awesome weekend if you enjoyed this video be sure to smash the like button other than that guys if you're still watching you haven't subscribed yet now is the time to do so cheers enjoy your weekend bye bye